Hey everybody, it's Eric, and today I have a Bath & Body Works haul for you. I went a little crazy this past week with all the Bath & Body Works sales. Probably no one's surprised by that, but there were so many sales this week, it was just crazy. We have the pocket back sale for a dollar on the pocket backs. There's the buy one, get one free three-wick candle sale going on. There's the 60% off the fall merchandise sale going on. Saturday we had that friends and family additional 25% off. Uh, and there were other sales as well, but you know, those are basically the sales I hit. And yeah, so I, I ended up buying um, quite a bit of stuff, you guys. So excited to show you though. You people came here on a really good day. And before we get into the haul, I have a few photos of some things I saw in store. I just want to share really quick with you. It's not a store walkthrough, but just a few items that I saw. So I found this Santa wallflower plug. It's Santa in the sleigh with some presents. And it has some Christmas lights along the sleigh. It says I project. has uh, looks like some reindeer that will be on the back wall. Little, it looks like red reindeer there. This is running at $36.95. It's very cute. And then I also saw this gingerbread house cosmetic bag. These are running at $18.95. And then lastly, I saw some new socks. And so we have a snowman, says best in snow. These are priced at $8.95. Then we have some socks with the menorah and snowflakes for Hanukkah. And lastly, we also have the Nutcracker. So those are a few things that I saw in the stores this past week that are new that I hadn't seen previously. Uh, so now we're just going to get into this haul, you guys. I'm going to start back on Thursday. That would have been the pocket back sale. And I also picked up some 60% off uh, candles and oh, some Christmas candles. I have so much stuff, you guys. I have to kind of have a list here to keep track of what I bought when. I love to shop a lot. So we had a Thursday, yes, the pocket back sale for a dollar. And I also got in for that buy one, get one candle sale going on. Uh, so I did pick up under the Christmas tree as one of my buy one get one so basically they're 50% off and I really do like this candles because they're essentially 50% off uh, I picked this up for $12.47 and this is your fir balsam juniper berries vanilla eggnog and sage leaves I do like this candle and I'm so happy they keep bringing this back for the last few years you get the balsam. There's a slight, just a slight sweetness from that vanilla eggnog. Uh, I don't really pick up like an eggnog note, but there is like a slight sweetness from that. And the sage is mixed in there. Such a nice candle though, you guys. So really happy that they brought under the Christmas tree back. Just so you know, uh, I noticed yesterday in the stores that these candles with these um, lids with the holly and bow and all that, uh, as these candles are selling out, they're being switched over to just a um, just a plain lid, you guys. So just so you know, I'm starting to notice that these lids are running out and they're just replacing them with plain lids. Uh, I don't know why they always do that every year. It seems like they have fancy lids in the beginning when they first push the candles out. And as the candles sell down, they switch over to plain lids for some reason usually. So I did, I did notice that yesterday in the stores. Well... I must agree, this is an unfortunate turn of events, isn't it? I also picked up a hot cocoa and cream. So I did get one of these, you guys. Love the label for this. And this is your decadent milk chocolate, fresh steamed milk, and mini marshmallows. Mm, it's just so chocolatey. There's lots of rich chocolatey cocoa and milk already in it. You're late. Oh. I just love this candle. So glad to pick up another hot cocoa and cream. So, so good. And I got this for $12.47 as well. And then I also got two of the uh, peppermint sugar cookies. So I did pick up two of these. I love the label. I love this green glass jar. And then these have a um, lid, different lid with the reindeer and the uh, Christmas trees all over them. This is such a fabulous candle, you guys. I absolutely love this candle. This is your crushed peppermint vanilla extract, creamy butter, and soft sugar cookies. Mm, 
so good with that peppermint and the cookies. This really does remind me of those Girl Scout Thin Mint cookies. The cookies are here! I mean, there's really no chocolate in this, but it just reminds me of those cookies. And I've always found this to have a really good throw, you guys. So I'm so happy to pick up two of these. Uh, because it's the buy one, get one, they were $13.47 each on these because these were originally $26.95. So a little pricier. But um, I was trying to be very strategic about which candles I was purchasing uh, during these this past week. Trying to buy candles that I, I'm seeing aren't coming back later on this season. Uh, you know, some of these candles will get multiple repackages of, but like this peppermint sugar cookie, I'm not seeing it in any of the future collections for the holidays, so I figured I better pick up two now if this is the only uh, style that that's coming out in. Uh, but like Fresh Balsam will get multiple repackages this season. Merry Cookie, uh, Sugared Snickerdoodle, those always come out in different packaging, but some of these candles you know, that are out right now, that's it, you know, for that particular, you know, fragrance. And they won't come back in a different jar style this season. We are going somewhere with this. <laughs> uh, I mean, if not, I'm going to cut out your tongue. So I was trying to be strategic about buying those candles and not picking up other candles that, that are going to be out in multiple styles this year. I also found some 60% off candles in the store on Thursday. So I was so happy because I found two of my, one of my favorite candles, two pumpkin bonfire in the store. And I got these for $9.98 each. So I thought that was a really good deal. And I'm glad I picked them up on Thursday because by Saturday when they had that friends and family extra 25% off, these were already long gone. So you know, I'm glad I got them on Thursday, but this is your white pumpkin, a bundle of clove buds and glowing embers. I just love this candle. It's spicy, it's pumpkin. There's a little smokiness in there. Uh, we've talked about this candle a few times on the channel here, but um, just a really good candle. So happy that I found two more at such a great price. Anytime I can find a candle around $10 or under, I'm all for it, you guys. It's like candle day prices, you know? <laughs> That's a great time to buy candles for sure. I also found um, a cranberry orange seltzer and they brought this back from last year. It's a very nice candle. I love the fragrance on this. It has a nice throw. This is your fresh orange sugared cranberries and fizzy seltzer water. And you do get a lot of orange, the cranberry. It is a little effervescent, real sugary. So just a nice candle overall. And I've always enjoyed burning these around the holidays. Just a nice orange sugary orange cranberry candle and i found a salted butterscotch this is another nice candle you guys this is your warm brown sugar sweet cream pinch of sea salt and melted butter mm, this smells just like those butterscotch candies you guys it really does i really like this candle i have a few of these already in my um stockpile but i figured for the price i would pick up another one so I did, you know, got another one of those. And then they had one, just one pumpkin spice latte there. Oh, how exciting. And I didn't buy one of these this year. So I figured, well, for the 10, uh, 1078, I might as well pick up one of these. This is your pumpkin pie spice, freshly brewed espresso, homemade whipped cream, and a sprinkling of cinnamon sugar. I like this candle too. You get the coffee, there's that pumpkin spice, there is that um, kind of a little creamy note from that whipped cream. The only thing is, the reason I didn't pick one of these up earlier is I love the candle, I love how it smells on cold, but when I burn these candles I feel like it's a little on the light side. Oh now, and you know that isn't so. So I typically, uh, this past year I was like I'm not going to buy any of these, but then when I saw the price I thought I'll pick another one up. Maybe. Maybe this one will be a little bit stronger than uh, previous years. Also, Thursday was their pocket back sale, and I wanted to definitely get some pocket backs. So I went in specifically for Twisted Peppermint, which is one of my favorite pocket backs, and I was able to pick up five of them. So I did pick up five of these uh, Twisted Peppermint. Really cute with the little pink peppermint there, peppermint candy on the uh, label really really like the scent and they had these out earlier in the week and then of course when I go in for the pocket back sale 
they were nowhere to be found. But, uh, you know, I, I know the associates, and they were like, oh, yeah, we have them in a drawer here, and they just, you know, let me get some. So that was very nice of them. I also picked up one of the Vanilla Icicles, and then the uh, Winterberry Ice, which comes back every year, it seems like. I also found uh, they have the uh, Goldenberry Mistletoe, which this is a new fragrance, I believe, this year. And this is my first time, my first encounter with this particular fragrance. I haven't, um, I saw the candle actually in store, but I didn't get a chance to actually smell, uh, smell the candle. But the fragrance, there's a little pine in this, and I like it. Like, I, I like the scent. So I'm really looking forward to trying this out in the three wick candle, you guys. It actually smells pretty good. Ooh, I'll take one of those. And then I found a um, snowy peach berry. It's got the little stocking and a little storybook there at the bottom for their storybook collection that's going to be coming out in a few weeks. So I found that one as well. So those are the pocket backs. And then and Saturday, we had an additional 25% off with that friends and family discount. So you could tack that on to anything in the store, which was great. Oh, well, in that case, it's fabulous. Yeah. I'm sure I could get this down the road at a better discount, but I just figured I'd buy it now. And this is the train with Santa there in the window and you have the smokestack and I'll show you what it looks like here lit up. So this is cute lit up. You have the background there on the wall with the trees and the houses. You have the stars, the moon. Very pretty. Uh, you have Santa really lit up there in the window and then you have the smokestack that's lit up. And then at the front here you also have one of the little like a green light that's lit up here. The only thing is when it's really dark you can't really see the train at all. You just see Santa, basically, and then, of course, the background on the wall. So I kind of wish that they would have had a few more lights on the train itself to kind of show that it's a train. Uh, but other than that, it's really cute, you guys. It is a real cute piece. And it's originally $39.95, and I picked this one up for $29.95, so uh, $9.99 off. And then I also found the Cozy Cabin. This is just so cute lit up, you guys. Oh my gosh. So this one, I really love how it's lit up. The whole building is lit up, which is nice. And I love the door, the little star on the door. And then if you take a closer look at these windows, it's hard to see it. But these windows, there's actually like frost and snowflakes on the windows. They did such a nice job with the detail on this one. The only thing I would kind of wish was... Uh, that it was a projector. I kind of wish it, this would have been a projector for the price. And I also wish like the smokestack might have had like a little light to kind of show the smoke going up. But other than that, it's just so cute. Uh, this one runs at $36.95 and I got this for $27.71. So I saved $9.24. And like I said, down the road, I'm sure there'll be a better sale uh, that I could have picked those up on. But I just thought they were there. They hadn't been like handled too much yet, so they didn't look damaged. So I thought, I'm just gonna get them now. Why not? Why not? And then also I found this car fragrance holder, this ornament car fragrance holder. How cute is this? Adorable. Cute as a button. There's just so much stuff coming out this season, you guys. I cannot even keep up with all the different pieces they're bringing out. This runs originally at $10.95. And with that friends and family discount, brought it to $8.21, so a $2.74 savings, but so cute. And this one's also a vent or a visor clip. It's got both clips, so I really like that. So I picked that one up as well. And I also had to get the little iced cinnamon roll, you guys. So cute. This little pocket back holder. These originally run at $6.95. And with the discount, it came to $5.22, so just $1.73 off. But it was so cute. And uh, this one didn't seem all like gunked up or anything. So I picked that one up as well. So those were the pieces that I picked up. And then I saw this. This was also, I think, new to the stores. I hadn't seen this yet in the stores. This uh, candle sleeve with these snowflakes and bows. Whoa. How cute is that? I just love this. And it's just like very classic Christmas to me. Uh, this is running at $14.95, so I used one of my rewards for this and just picked this one up for free. But look at this. I'm going to use this frosted green um, glass candle here. I just want to show you guys what this looks like with this green glass candle. I mean, 
that is just so pretty with the green background. Really makes that red bow pop with those snowflakes. Yeah, I really, really like that. Very, very cute, very classic Christmas to me. So those are a few extra things I picked up in the store. And then I have a few more candles here, you guys. So I did get flannel in the new packaging. I just love the flannel packaging for this. It matches the men's body care. Really, really cute, you guys. This is your fresh bergamot, heirloom mahogany, and soft musk. You know, it's very cologne-y to me, but I just had to have this packaging, you guys. And uh, so glad I found that yesterday at the store. I went to a total of three different stores, and each store, you guys, had something different. So it's always good to go to different stores if you have them in your area. I know not everyone does, but around me, there's like five or six Bath & Body Works within like a 15, 20 minute drive, you know, different directions. So uh, usually I'll try to hit up a couple of them and I always find just different stuff. So I also picked up the Snowy Coconut Frost. No! And I wasn't sure if I really wanted this one or not and I just kept smelling it and finally was like, eh, okay, I'll get this one. Uh, <laughs> this is your Iced Coconut White Birch and Warm Vanilla. And to me, it really smells a lot like their coconut body care that they bring out sometimes in the spring. That's really kind of what it reminds me of. It's not bad, just coconut, kind of like a a little bit of like a musky vanilla to it. So uh, not too bad. I think this is different than the Frosted Coconut Snowball, um, I believe, but they might be the same candle, I'm not sure. And then I also picked up a Iced Winter Balsam. I didn't see this on any of the candle lists as coming out later on in different packaging, and I really like the Iced Winter Balsam, so I figured I'd pick one up. Uh, with the um, friends and family discount on these candles, by the way, these all came to $10.10. So again, those are like candle day prices, basically. <laughs> you got it! And this is Frozen Eucalyptus, Sugar Pine, and Fresh Balsam. Mm, I love this candle. I've always loved this candle. You get the pine, and with that eucalyptus, it almost gives like a little bit of like a lemony fragrance to it. And it's slightly sweet, too. It's just slightly sweet. Yeah, really, really like this candle. This is a nice one. Always has a good throw, too. Uh, I also picked up another snowy peach berry, you guys, because the other one that I had bought the other week, uh, this frosted glass gets... Um, marked really easily. So I wanted one for my collection that didn't have any marks on it. And it actually smells pretty good. I'm not the biggest fan of peach fragranced candles, but this one actually smells pretty good. Is that a fact? This is your Sweet Peaches Tart Cranberry and Sugared Musk. I like that peach and cranberry combination. I think that's why I like this one. It's not just peach. And it's a little sweet. I don't get a whole lot of muskiness on it, which is good. I don't want like a perfumey note. Yeah, it's just kind of like a sugared, peachy, cranberry fragrance. It does smell light on cold, so I'm not qu quite sure how well of a throw it will have, but it does smell really good, you guys. And then I also found um, some 60% off candles, well, two. And then with the 25% uh, off, these came to $8.08. <laughs> So I picked up two apple and charcoal for $8.08. And this is sweet red apple and smoked charcoal. I really like this candle. And it is just like a real sweet apple fragrance with like a, yeah, like a charcoal kind of smoke smell to it. I don't really want to say smoke. It's not really smoky, but there is like a charcoal fragrance to it. You are going to love this. Uh, really, really good candle, you guys. Has a, has a really nice throw. And I already have a bunch of these in my collection. I, I hadn't planned on picking up any more apple and charcoal, but for $8, I'm like, the only time you really see candle prices like that is during SAS when the candles get down to like 75% off. And I never seem to find them, you guys. I'm always late to the store. <laughs> I never get there right when they open, so I always lose out. So I'm like, you know what? $8 is good enough for me. I, I'm taking the $8 candles. That's right. So I picked up two of those. 
So that is the haul, you guys. Uh, so much fun stuff, and there's so much more coming out this season. It is just crazy. I, I just keep seeing so many new things on social media. I'm like, how much stuff are they bringing out for Christmas this year? I feel like this is like their largest Christmas ever. I probably said that last year as well, but this year just seems a lot more than last year. And so far, I'm loving it. I'm loving all the stuff they're bringing out for Christmas, you guys. Please leave comments down below if you hit up these sales this week and what you purchased. I hope you all found some great finds at your stores. And as always, please hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you later. Bye-bye.